Hey guys, today I am going to do hopefully just a short video, but it's going to be a review of um, a haul I have from crownbrush.com. I made a purchase, I would say probably a month and a half or two months ago from Crown Brush, and it was my first purchase from them. <clears throat> and so I just thought I would share with you what I got because, you know, there's a lot of hype about Crown Brush. And tell you just some really quick thoughts on the brushes that I got. So we'll go ahead and start off with the face brushes. I got this just really typical foundation brush and the name is not written on here and I don't have like the paper anymore that told me what they were called but none of these brushes should be too hard to find. If it has some of it has the name written on it so if it does then I'll tell you what it is but this one is just plain and um, I usually have trouble with these kinds of foundation brushes like usually they just don't work that well for me but I actually like this one I can use it Sammy's one to be up in my lap <laughs> um, I can actually use this one and I think it's because it's like thicker than the other ones I've tried and it's still not my favorite way to apply foundation but I can use it so if you like this kind of foundation brush then you'd probably like that and the second face brush I got was just the Kabuki and again I'm not sure you know which one this one is but uh, I really like this one too it's very dense but very soft at the same time I have had uh, it sheds really bad is my chief complaint about it but it is very soft it would be good for you know, like mineral foundation or just your powder, just whatever. So, I, I do like it. I mean, the shedding is kind of annoying, though. I'm not going to lie. So, those are the only two face brushes I got. Well, sort of. I'll go ahead and show you this brush next because on the website, I thought that it was an eye brush. I think it, the name on the website made me think it was a blending brush. We'll just say that. Um and it's huge <laughs> can you like see that I mean I'll give you a reference here look at this next to my eye it's huge so I don't really use it for you know blending eyeshadows or anything like that but I like to find a use for everything especially if I've paid money for it so I actually really like this brush for setting my under eye concealer with powder like I'll just dip it in some powder and just set right underneath my eyes and it works really well for that so I do like that brush. Then I got, this one actually has a name on it, and it is called the B15 Crease. And it's basically just a fluffy crease brush. Very dense, again, I'll show you here. But soft at the same time. But it is really dense, so it's good for like the outer V it's stiff enough for that but also you could use it to like you know blend out some colors or just apply like a soft wash so I really like that brush I got another blending brush this one is the C412 deluxe pointed crease and this one is a much fluffier brush and much less dense it's you know kind of flimsy and honestly I found myself using this brush almost every day since it came in the mail so I mean I guess that means I like it um, it is really good for blending out colors or if you just wanted to apply a very very sheer wash of color like in your crease or something my only not even complaint or gripe just uh, uh, a wish I had for this brush is I do kind of wish it had more bristles than it does I mean I know it's not supposed to be like a dense brush because it's good to have a fluffy blush brush to blend out colors but I almost feel like it's like just really flimsy like look you know but I do still use it almost every day so I do like it but I think it's just because it's like the fluffiest brush I have like I think if I had another one 
that was still really fluffy but just a little bit more like had more bristles I'd probably use it more than this one but I'm getting a lot of use out of that brush right now and I also got this one this is the C208 chisel deluxe fluff long names here I don't know if you can see that and this is basically just like an eyeshadow brush pretty much it's pretty much like my elf eyeshadow brushes and so I use it to like pack color onto the lid but also I've also used this for the crease it's really good to kind of like wedge a color right there in your crease and it's fluffy enough to where or you know soft enough to where you can actually blend it out too so and this has an extremely long handle on it like longer than all of the other ones very long brush and the very last one I got was like a pencil brush and this one is the C431 Precision Detail I'll show you the name and it's just a pencil brush basically really small and pointy so it's really good for like the lower lash line I wouldn't want to use this to do my outer V or like blend it out because it's kind of where it's stiff it's just kind of scratchy I mean it's really dense as you can see you know it's it's like a tough brush so I think it's good for you know liner and that sort of thing but I would not want to blend with this because I know some people do like if they have small eyes or something they'll use like a really small crease brush or a pencil brush and like blend out their outer V color just me personally I wouldn't want to do that with this brush just where it's it can be kind of scratchy so overall I'm really happy with my crown brush order I'm sure I'll order from them in the near future because I have an obsession with brushes I can never have enough I feel like and um, they're really really affordable and to be such good quality I mean the majority of these brushes are very good quality I hope this helped out if you're thinking about purchasing from Crown Brush. I hope that gave you some ideas of the brushes you might want to get. And so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and come back soon.